Okay, so let's solve this problem. So accumulate these 20,000 pesos for 2 years at 15% compounded monthly. So for this problem, we're looking for the maturity value or the future value. But first, we need to list all the given. Since we have this 20,000 pesos, so this one is the principal. And for the rate, so we have this 15% and 15% in decimal, the 0 0.15. Then for the time, since 2 years, so therefore the time is equal to 2. Then for this compounding period, since compounded monthly, and we have this 12 months in a year, so therefore, the compounding period is equal to 12. Then for this number of periods, that's the compounding period times the time. Since the compounding period is 12 and the time is 2, so therefore the number of periods is equal to 24. Then for this interest per period, that's the rate over the compounding period. So the rate is 0.15. And the compounding period is 12. So therefore, the interest per period. So we have this 0.15. Then divide by 12. That's 0 0.0125. So this is now the interest per period. So this time, we can solve now the maturity value or the future value from this formula. So just substitute all the values. So we have this principal, that's 20,000. Then times 1 plus the interest per period, that's 0 0.0125. Then to the power n, and n is equal to 24. So to solve now for the maturity value or the future value, since this 1 plus 0 0.0125 is equal to 1.0125. So therefore, this 20,000 then times this 1.0125 then to the power 24 equals that's 26,947.02. So the future value is 26,947.02. So this is now the maturity value or the future value.